In this video, I'm going to show you how to use WeTransfer to send files. So first head over to the WeTransfer website. You can just type in WeTransfer.com or alternatively, just use the search engine to type in WeTransfer and click on this top website. Now, before we go and upload our files to this website, I'd recommend you go and create a zip file that contains all of your files. So you can see here that we can only send up to two gigabytes for free. And then after that, we have to go and pay. So in order to make sure this file size is as small as possible, what we're going to do is just head over to the files that we want to go and send. So let's say, for example, I wanted to send these two pictures here. Rather than just uploading the pictures as separate files, we need to right click somewhere in this white space, click on new, and then select zip archive. Now you can just go and give this a name. I'm gonna call this files. And then we can go and drag our files into this zip folder. Another way to do this is just by selecting your files like so, right clicking, and then you can press compress and select zip file. Now, once you have your zip file, come back over to the website and click on add files, and then just go and locate that zip file that we just created. So mine's here, I'm gonna double click on this. And in the email to field, this is who we want to be sending these files to. So go and type out the email address of the contact you're sending this to. Once you've typed in the email address here, you also need to type in your own email address. And then if you scroll down, you can also attach a message to this as well. I'm just going to leave this blank and then go and press transfer. Now, before you can send this, you'll need to verify your email address. So you'll receive a six digit code that you'll need to go and enter over here and click verify and send. Now that's going to go ahead and transfer all of your files over to this person. Once it's finished, you're going to see this this copy link here. Now, once this is complete, you're going to see this copy link button over here. And what we can do is press this and go and copy and paste the link to people directly. So if I go ahead and copy this link and then paste it into an internet browser, you can see that from this link, we can go and download this zip file directly. And also the recipient of who you sent these files to will receive an email, something similar to this. And it will basically just email them notifying that you've sent this zip file and they can go and click on this, get your files button and go and download it directly. So it's as simple as that guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next